The Cleaner of the Masjid. This story was narrated by Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam once asked, Where has the woman who used to clean the masjid gone? And one of his companions answered, O oh, Messenger of Allah, that woman died last night. So he made the prayer and she was buried. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked, Why did he not tell me? The companion replied, We thought that it was not necessary to inform you. With a heavy heart, he then said to his companions, Show me her grave. So, he went with a heavy heart and sat down by the woman's grave and prayed for the old woman. This woman's story is known, but not her name. This woman's name was Kharaqa, also known as Um Mehjan. She was an old black woman and she was neither rich nor educated. But her eagerness to serve Islam to attain the pleasure of Allah was big and strong. Kharaqa was a cleaner, yet she used to follow Islam with a sincere and pure heart. One day she said to herself, I am weak and amongst the poor people. If I cannot undertake an important task, then at least I can clean and sweep the mosque of Allah's Messenger. With that, she made a broom out of palm leaves and started cleaning the masjid on Nabawi. And she cleaned the masjid on a regular and daily basis. Indeed, for Kharaqa, this was the best way she saw that she could obtain the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had given respect and appreciation for Kharaqa. So, when he went to her grave and prayed for her, he made dua for her forgiveness. This is a clear proof that those who have pure intentions in seeking Allah's pleasure, Allah raises the status in both of the eyes of the believers as well in the Akhirah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.